Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So you know I got a wine. So I will be sipping it. It is wine in my cup, okay? I do not drink. I drink a lot of water. I drink, um, yeah, I drink juices and stuff, but I love my red wine. So, and it's sweet, by the way. I don't drink dry wine. <laughs> I can't. It's like, that's like beer, y'all. I love sweet wine. I'm going to take a sip right now. Mmm, so good. Um, I know I've been gone, y'all. I know I've been gone, but listen, it's been crazy because I've been working like crazy, and then I entered the gym, and from I entered the gym, I've been going like five times a week, and on the weekends, they're not 24 hours, so I made sure to have my inside, you know, you know my little stuff, my little gym stuff, so, and I use that like on the weekends, you know, to keep my muscles, you know, working um the reason why i entered the gym because um as a, you get older your body starts to change and your body needs help you know it's not like when we were younger we were more active we go to the beach we walk a lot now i drive everywhere i'm in a town i'm in a state where i have to drive everywhere and you know it sucks it really sucks so i need to stay in shape um but anyways, y'all, I'm going to go and start this whole thing. My review on what's going on through the whole week ain't going to be no order. I'm just going to talk about the characters and keep it moving. First thing I'm going to talk about is Sam and Drew. And I'm going to go back to when he asked her for a divorce. And I'm going to put light on when she agreed. That does not mean that she needs one because a lot of people were saying that, oh, she wants one. She wants to go back to Jason. No, that's not the case. Sam feels like she, she put a lot of problems in this man's life by, you know, they were married and then she put this bomb on him that she loves Jason when he asked her three times if that's what she wanted to do, she could go back to him and be with him because she, he understood how she felt. But she waited and remarried him and, and, you know, it's just, so she feels like she's making him unhappy. He She does not want this man to be unhappy. She cares about him. She loves him. And, you know, she just want him to have whatever he wants. But, you know, she just, like, she feels like he wants, like, she's losing him, you know? She feels like she's losing him or, like, she lost him. And so she's like, I agree. So she's giving him what she wants. And in Drew's head, Sam is already with Jason. Um, and how I know that is because the scene with Jason and him in the gym, and it was well overdue. We needed that scene. You know, um, it, unfortunately, that couldn't happen sooner. You know, why? You know, but you know, whatever. It happened. And Drew asks Jason if, you know, Sam asked him to move back in. And Jason said, no, um, I'm not with Sam. You know, and he was very like, really? Like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? Because I know that <laughs> she loves you because I have all your memory. It's like, that's what Drew is going on in his mind. He doesn't. He doesn't want to believe that she is in love with him, too. You know? He just hears that she loves him. So, anyways. So, we have Drew's memory situation. And Oscar and him meet in the park. They were supposed to go on a trip together. Oscar hurt his leg because of, of the ball situation. And who do you think Sam is going to go with? Because she hasn't even had a date yet. She asked Maxie, but Maxie's ending up going with Peter. Y'all, who's Drew going with? <laughs> I want to know. But anyways, um, you know, so they're having a father and son moment in the park. And Oscar want to know everything about his dad from the past. And he can't provide that because he don't have any memories. So Oscar is like, Dad, you know, like, it could be any time that me and Jocelyn choose to have intercourse. We're not having it because it's just not the right time. But... He wants to know about his father, and he's asking him, don't you want your memories back? What's holding you back? And he's like, I do want my memories back. And, you know, but a part of me feel like Drew wants his memories back, but he knows the cost. He might end up forgetting Sam and, um, and Scout and every, everyone that he loved, like Elizabeth or, um, you know, Jake and everyone, you know, that he built a relationship with in the last three years and Mike uh, Michael this, you know even though Michael and him Michael and him is not 
like how they used to be, Michael is still in his life. That's still his uncle, you know? It's still, is that his uncle? Yeah, that's still his uncle. So, you know, he, he has a fear of losing everything, losing all of those memories um, that he made, not Jason memories. Of, of He wants to lose Jason memories. He don't care for Jason's memories, but he does not want to forget the memories of how who he was at Jake Doe, who he was as Jason when he thought he was, who he was at, as Drew Kane. Um, so I do understand that. But in the end, Drew actually called Andrew, Andrew, was it Andrew? Andrew, what I would say, Andrew. Andrew and asked him, you know, left the message and told him that he wants his memories back and stuff like that. So we know that Drew is going to meet with Andrew and, um, and we saw the preview today that it, it doesn't look good. He has to get the, the disk drive. He has to get that disk drive. Which is a spoiler going around that Sam is going to get the disk drive. She's going to find it and she's going to give it to Drew. Um, because everything is coming to a close, y'all. Everything is coming to a close. We know finally Henrik is taking this shit seriously. And he knows that everybody's coming after him. Um, what's it called? Valentine in this preview was telling him you better leave before... Now that you can, before you can't, because he, everyone is coming for him. Okay, so he knows what we know that this is coming to an end. The question is, who is going to find out first? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, then we have Sam and Peter, and you know, Sam is trying to step down, but then she decided not to because of Drew, right? Because of Drew and the company, and Peter, she doesn't trust him, right? And then um, Peter told her, you know, it's her best choice to step down, you know. And she came back and asked him, you know, I, I did think about it, but I wanted to know why you wanted me to step down. And he was like, he just came out with it, y'all. Fresh, raw, intense. Girl, you need to step down because, you know, it's the best interest for Drew. Um, if you stay, Drew's going to make all kinds of mistakes. Um, he's not going to be at his best. Um, to leave the company and we don't want no two CEOs you know we rather have one CEO and it was just raw with no feelings nothing and Sam was just like hold on what are you what are you talking about like you get you know he was he just came out with it really raw and that even made Sam more like nah something is wrong with this guy how did I not see it before I see it now so She's just like, well, I decided to stay on, call who you need, who had worries, and let them know that I'm going to be here. I am back, and I'm not going anywhere. So, <laughs> Sam's face, though. Um, you know, so she's staying on. And I loved her dress, by the way. She looks great. Um, but yeah, you know, he didn't like that because he wants to have Drew all to his, his little self because he found out that Sam is, you know, in, investigate him, investigating him. So he wants her to be gone. So then we have, hold on, y'all, the neighbor. I hate when my neighbors are so nosy. Anyway, so we have Ava and Nell. And I feel like Ava and Nell is like the best. Even when when nothing is going on on this damn show, I tune in for Ava and Nell because <laughs> they're so good together. I love them, their friendship. I mean, now they blackmail Ava, but Ava blackmails Sunny to get 50% custody of her daughter. So come on. Ava is the same thing as Nell. Nell wasn't going to really use it unless she had to, you know, but she wasn't going to, she didn't want to use, you know, the evidence. That she, you know, that she had on Ava, which is the freaking, I don't even know if Nell knows what that truly is, that that's what everybody's looking for. I don't even think Nell cares that she has the key in her damn phone about Henrik. Anyways, too many people have these, this damn key and nobody's doing nothing with it. Let me just take a sip, y'all. This show getting me all stressed out. But anyways, 
and I feel like you know I feel I love them together I really do I just I would love to just watch a whole damn series with Nell and Ava the way Nell acts and the way she just she's cool about it and she's just not even caring and she's just plotting and and Ava is she, Ava's just like what the hell Ava is not even scared of her like Ava is just like you little twit I took you in when nobody did you know <laughs> and they were like Nell was like yeah, Ava, I know, and I appreciate that, but I don't, I don't want to use it unless I have to. Like, she was just, like, so chill about it. She was like, you're going to go to the baby shower, and, and you're going to give me this gift, and you're going to put this, your name on this card. It was just, like, yeah, yeah, I love those two. And then we have um, Ava and Griffin. Please, please end this relationship. Please. It's getting on my last nerve. Let me tell you why. Griffin knew how... Ava was. Why are you changing this woman? Why are you trying to change her into something that she's not? And you, Griffin is so boring. Ava don't need to be another Griffin, okay? She needs to be Ava. If you can't, you know, if you can't accept this woman, you need to just leave her alone. Like, break up with her. Like, she gave you so many chances to walk through the door and you're still there. For what? You know if she's not your cup of tea, then go. Go. You making freaking Carly disrespect her. Where's the guy when when Ava and Griffin wasn't together? You know how he was. He was so overprotective. He was defending her, you know. And now he and she was and she was I guess she was burned and stuff back then, but now that she's back, she has her face back and stuff and she has her confidence back, you don't want to defend her. Whatever. I can't stand Griffin. I don't even care if he dies because at this point he knows that Henry Peter is Henrik. Faison's son. He knows that everybody's looking for him. He knows what this man did to Drew and Sam and Jason and everybody turned up everybody's life and he doesn't even use his common sense to at least say, okay, I can't tell Jason. Um, I don't know if Anna is, you know, true to herself or true to Jason. Let me tell Sam and Drew what's going on at least they could figure out or let me go to the police with this information knowing that the police is, you know, like, everybody's looking for this this person. Like, come on. He's a mess. Anyway, then we have Carly and Sunny, and it's oh, so sad because, damn, Sunny, when you didn't have no sense and you were losing your mind and seeing things, who was there for you and who was there to help you and stay with you? <laughs> Carly was. Carly was the only one there for you, okay? Didn't think you were going crazy, but yet now when Carly is going a little... Well, she ain't going crazy. Nell's plotting against her. But now she's trying to tell Sonny what's going on. He is thinking that she needs to go to the doctor. She needs to be on medication. Or she needs to be admitted. Like, what kind of man is that? You know when Carly told Sam to choose the one who truly gets you? I'm thinking, God, Carly, did you really choose the one that really gets you? Because... Sonny don't get you because Jason gets you more than Sonny does. And you and Jason are not even together. And the funny thing is, I think Jason is the one that gets her more than anybody that she ever been with. And she unfortunately messed that up because she slept with Sonny. But if she stayed away from Sonny, Jason would eventually forgive her. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't think uh, Sunny is Carly's match, unfortunately. I really don't. I think Jason is her match. I don't want Jason to be with Carly, but I feel like Jason is her match because Jason gets her more than her damn husband gets her. Um, I, the only person I see Jason with is Elizabeth, point blank. That's it. Um, anyways. And then we have Nell and Carly, okay? Um, Nell and Carly... <laughs> It's juicy as hell. Let me tell you why. Because Nell is playing Carly, honey. Playing Carly. And Carly is just in it. Like, she's just such a fool. She Carly is Carly. Carly is Carly. She just put herself out there and make herself look so stupid. And Nell is just planting the seeds and letting them grow. And today, Nell fell down this well. The, well, last fr Friday, Nell fell down the stairs. Today, Carly going to jail. 
<laughs> Dante arrested her ass. Well, well, we saw Dante had to arrest her. We didn't see Dante put the cuffs on her ass, but he's gonna have to put the cuffs on her and bring her downtown. But um, everything is coming together. Michael is gonna be with Nell all the way. Nell getting what she needs, what she wants. It looks like everything is coming together. Um, Cardi gonna go to jail. <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. And Ava is just like, Ava put everything together, like, from the blanket situation. And when she asked Nell, what, what's that blanket for? And Nell was like, don't worry. You find out everything, you know, when everything come together. And I like that Nell didn't tell Ava because she wanted Ava to be as surprised. Because it, it has to sell. It has to sell. And it surely did. And Ava's just like, now Ava is on board because she sees, what the hell? Yeah, she gonna get full custody because if Carly's out of Sunny's life, and Sunny's life is about to go down the drain because he don't even know where the body is that he's trying to look for, dig up with him and Jason in the damn ground. And the way he's yelling at Jason and acting a fool, though, for real? You acting like Jason is the one that lost the damn body. Bruh, you plant that body over there and you don't even know where the body is and Jason is trying to help you. You know, fix your damn mess. You're yelling at him and acting a fool. Like, bruh, I would have left. J I would have left Sunny's ass right there. But Jason is not that kind of person. You know what I'm saying? Jason always think about him, think about you before he think about himself. Oh my God. Mm mm mm. Come on now. The only time I saw Jason act out was with Drew, and I don't know where that came from. When him and Drew, when he planted those seeds, something about if you know Sam ain't with you. As long as she ain't with you or something. When he said that line, he said, um, um, as long as Sam is happy, if Sam don't look at him again, I'll be okay. But as long as she's done with your, um, we're good without you. What's something, something he said, and you punch him in the face or something. That was out of Jason's character. I like that, Jason. Say what you, what you feel, fool. Say what you feel. Anyway. <laughs> then we have, um, uh, Nina and Peter and Maxie and the, the, Nina, I really was hoping that Nina had some kind of sense, but damn, he she let Peter just plant that damn story in her mind, and then now she thinks that Peter is this good guy, and then Maxie is going out with Peter to the ball because he asked her to, and I'm like, really, Maxie? And then it's, it's just a whole mess. Thank God we have Sam and Curtis that don't believe nothing and staying on the case and trying to find out what the hell going on with this damn Peter guy, okay? Thank God for them. Okay? Anyway, I'm so mad about them right now. What about Valentine and, and, and Nina? We know that that relationship is going to be gone and dead, okay? Because as soon as she find out that her man has something to do with, well, didn't have something to do with, well, had, well, has something to do with the seed of Faison coming to town and Faison killing her brother. And her husband knew about this. Her husband knew about Jason, patient six, in the hospital. And he was supporting it, okay, giving money to it, helping those fools, okay, and everything. That, that, that relationship is going to be out the door, okay, out the door. But she's going to leave him mostly because of her brother, I believe. Valentine knows it. Valentine's at his end. He's trying to get uh, um, Peter out of town. Peter is just not having it. He's like, oh, I should stay here and I should do this and I should, you know, no. Well, if they come for me, they come for me. Like, Peter have this, like, weird-ass personality. Like, he ain't going to get caught. But we all know, boy, you're going to get caught. <sighs> you know, you're going to get caught. And um, your mama can't save you. And she knows it. She probably going to end up getting shot because of it. Okay, because uh, she know Jason. <laughs> she don't have to even just worry about Jason. Everybody's worried about Jason right now. But she needs to be worried about Drew. Because Drew is the one that don't ask no questions. He shoot and ask questions. <laughs> he shoot and ask. Just like his brother said. He shoot and ask questions later. Okay? So, yeah. Everybody's worried about, oh my god, Jason is going to kill, you know, Henrik. But it's going to, I feel like Drew is going to have a big part of it. Okay. Um, What else? What else? Ooh, the Jason and Jake scene. I love it. I love it. It was well needed. We were waiting for that. 
I want Jason to have a relationship with Jake. I'm done. I'm over Jake acting like, I mean, he's a kid. This is how kids really act in real life. You know what I'm saying? They're really nervous around people that they don't know. And this is a repercussion of Jason's choices. Like, you choose to have Lucky raise this boy. You choose to protect him from this mob life. And the funny thing is, Jason made the choice to protect Jake from the mob life by staying out of his life. But when Drew came into play and act like Jason, Drew was in the mob, or J Drew Jason was in the mob, and he still had a relationship with his kid. So it could have been possible. Jason, I feel like Jason is just wasn't ready to be a father. And he was using every excuse in the book. Like, you don't have to be with the mother to be a father, you know? And Elizabeth and him made that wrong choice because they made that choice and it really doesn't even matter now. It was a choice that they didn't even have to make because she didn't end up with Lucky. Lucky is gone. Okay? Another man had end up raising your child. Then we have Franco into play, and you don't even know your own son. Everybody else knows your son but you. So it's just sad. But now, finally, they're building a relationship, and I want to see more of Jake and Jason. I want to see... We know Danny and him is fine, you know? But we all know that Jake had a lot more storylines. Jake... Danny hadn't had a storyline yet for himself. Jake had a storyline where he was seeing... What seen his what what is it that freaking Elena chick the crazy ass Elena chick, and um he was you know planting bombs or for her at the ball and he was you know he he had a, a he was going through a lot he was sick mentally, and he had to go to a doctor and you know talk to somebody and now he's back on track. Jason the real Jason wasn't there for all of that. Drew was there for all of that. So anyways. He missed a lot. And Franco was there for all of that. So he missed a lot, you know? Elizabeth, a lot of people were just like annoyed that she was talking about Franco, but she loves the man. She loves the man right now. She ain't gonna sit in there and talk about Drew or sit there and talk about them. They have nothing going on right now. He's still in love with freaking Sam, waiting for Sam to come back to him. And Sam thinking that she has to make a choice between Drew and Jason, and Drew is moving on with his life. He don't want to have nothing to do with her right now. He don't want to have nothing to do with her. And I doubt if Sam goes back to Drew and say, I want to be with you, like, he's going to take her back. He's going to feel like he's, she's lying to him. Like, you know, there will be a reunion with Dream. I feel it. I know it. But it's not going to be easy. And that's what I love about Drew Kane, honey. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so today's episode, this was like the, in the weeks, but today's episode, I loved Nell. I love her. I love her. That girl was basically acting like she was passed out on the floor in the ambulance and everything. That girl was wide awake. She was acting like she, she was hurt. Okay, we all know Nell was acting a fool. Ava knew it. Ava put two and two together. She just knew it. Um, <sighs> what we got? We got Alexis and Anna and Finn. I kind of like this triangle better than Sam and Jason and Drew because there's no triangle with them. Drew is out. He's not even trying to be with Sam. So what triangle? No. Love triangle. There's none. Okay? There's a more of a love triangle with Alexis, Finn, and Anna because Alexis and, well, no, Finn and Anna wants to be together. But none of them is making the move, you know? And Finn is with Alexis, but they really know how they feel about each other and that they're both in love with someone else or whatever, right? But they're still sleeping with each other. And then we have a preview of Alexis asking, no, Finn asking Alexis to the ball, which that's great. But I want to know who Sam is going with because... And who's Drew going with? I think Drew... No, Kim is going with um, with uh, Julian. We already know that. So, who the hell... Who the hell Drew is going with? Oh my god, y'all. I'm so scared. <laughs> we know that we probably see freaking Sam with Jason. But... 
Jason probably won't end up at the ball. Jason doesn't go to those things, so I don't think Jason is going to be there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm excited to see. Um, those are my thoughts today. I'm trying to think of what happened in today's episode um, that I'm missing. Um, Valentin and Peter and Anna reaching out to um, Peter and, you know, telling um, Peter that don't trust Valentin. And um, he acts like he doesn't care for his mother, but he actually listened to his mother about Valentin. And Valentin actually loves Peter, I think. He really cares about him or he cares about what Peter actually knows about him because I think um, Peter knows everything about Valentin, um, dirty deeds. So I don't know what's really going on here, y'all. But this episode was okay today. It wasn't all that. It was no dream involved. Um, it was just a lot of Nell and Carly and I love it <laughs> and Ava acting like she don't know nothing y'all i love this episode i can't wait till tomorrow let me know what you guys think in the comment section sorry it's been so long since i uploaded a video and i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow okay in tomorrow's episode because we do have some you know drew Kane in there so yeah i'm excited see you guys soon